Hi guys, John here from the RxReview.com and today we're giving you our full review of the Jaybird Bluebird X wireless headphones, which my beautiful model can show you right here. Okay, so we published an unboxing of the Jaybird Bluebud headphones late last year, and uh, Michael, you've had a couple pairs for the past few years. I've had a pair for the past year. Firstly, tell the people out there what they're all about. Okay, basically they're Bluetooth headphones. There's no other wires besides you see here. They connect to either your iPhone, your Android phone, or your iPod um, through Bluetooth. They paired really well, paired nice and easy. Um, basically, they're pretty simple. Um, the way you charge them is there's a micro USB on the back here. Uh, you open that up, you can charge it through your computer or, or through a PowerPoint. I uh, locked it in now. It comes with a variety of other, um, there's like kind of three sizes. So uh, depending on your ear size, they'll fit. And they come with these weird like um, extra attachments, which is supposed to put them in your ears and actually make them fit a little bit more securely. Um, there is a, um, I guess you could, what we call it a dial on the side here, yeah. which you turn, you hold this down for five seconds to turn it on and off. Um, and then you can turn the volume up and down and you can also, if you hold it down for a little extra longer, mm -hmm. you can uh, change the music on um, your, your, your iPhone or your music playlist that you're going through. And you can also use that to answer telephone calls. There's a little microphone there, there so you, you can um, take telephone calls. Now, they have a little attachment um, here. The, the wire's a little bit long. You adjust it to your particular size. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll be the model, I'll show you. They wrap around the back Headphone of your head. model, McCoy. And you whack them in like so. Lovely, lovely. A natural model. Now, like I said, you are supposed to attach these little, little fang dangle things yep. to your ears so that adds a little bit more security. Um, I unfortunately wasn't able to do that. I do have really weird ears, I will say that. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, they wouldn't fit me. I couldn't wear them if I wore them with those. Fair enough. Well, the headphones themselves, Michael, as you said, they're wireless. You explain all the specifics about them. Uh, basically what we've said, we've had a bunch of readers uh, interested in getting some wireless headphones to train with in CrossFit gyms and so forth. And on the flip side, if you go to the uh, Jaybird website themselves, you can see that they're targeting functional fitness athletes as well. Michael, the question I'm asking you is, how were these particular headphones when it came to training? Yeah, exactly what you just uh, touched on. I mean, if you do check out the video when these headphones were launched, and that's what caught my attention, mm -hmm. you'll see people like in, looks like some type of CrossFit affiliate doing some box jumps um, um, and working out in it. I'll say that pretty much all the movements you see in that video, I wasn't able to do while using it. While they um, do work, a lot of the time I was finding issues, like for instance, if I did burpees or kettlebell swings, mm -hmm. no matter where I put my iPhone, whether it was in my pocket, on the floor, um, there was just certain movements that it would just cut out. Like I went for a run, iPhone was just in my shorts, um, ran down the street and it would just keep cutting out. It just became purely frustrating. So in the end, did you stop training with these or do you still use these for training these days? I've got to tell you, I mean, I, I even switched because I, I really like the fact they were wireless. Usually I'll use, you know, typical headphones like yeah. this. Um, but the problem is, you know, sometimes the cord gets in the way and you, you get it dangled up. So I really tried to continue using them. I started using them on rowing. I didn't find they would cut out then. However, if you're doing any kind of vigorous movement, um, I found them falling out of my ears even when I attempted to put these in my ears. Um, so yeah, they just weren't the best for working out in. Apart from working out, are they decent headphones? Look, I actually really like the headphones in, in general just for listening to music, I should say. Yep. Try and take a phone call on it and you're basically, no one's gonna be able to understand you. You're gonna sound like you're in Algeristan, like taking a phone Algeristan. call. Yeah. It's just gonna be sounding extremely muffled. No one could ever understand me. I, even these $16 skull candies have, have, have better clarity. Um, so if I'm using uh, to take phone calls, I'll use these as opposed to taking phone calls on them. In saying that, I really do like the fact that none of the cords got in the way. Yep. And the Bluetooth at times, I could go 50 meters down the other side of the gym. Mm -hmm. And at times, if even in my iPhone, I put it down, it was actually still picking up the reception. So at times it's actually, it works really well, but there just seems to be too many flaws in it. And at the price point, you'd expect at this day and age that there wouldn't be those issues. Well, let's touch on the price point. These sell for, I think it's $170 from the uh, Jaybird website themselves. Fair to say they're one of the most more expensive items on the market when it comes to wireless headphones. Yeah, I mean, you can obviously go up to Bose and buy, you know, pay yeah. uh, a few hundred dollars more than that. Um, there are a variety of other headphones. I mean, I haven't tried too many different uh, Bluetooth headphones. 
Um, but the ones I have tried don't generally cut out as much as this. And the fact that irrespective of the fact I didn't wear these, the fact that they keep falling out, I think you've experienced oh, it. Yeah, times. Um, a lot of people that I know that have worn them have find that they fall out. They're just yeah. not a secure fit. So from a marketing point of view, when they're saying or showing videos of you working out of them, I just don't think they, um, they kind of fit the, the need that you would. Okay, so someone comes to you, Michael, and says, look, I've heard about these Jaybird headphones. I want to get a set of wireless headphones that I can use while I'm training. Do you recommend them to someone or do you say, don't buy them? Nah, unfortunately, as much as I like them, and I actually do like them, I'm not gonna recommend them for training. I can't work out of them, can you? No, I can't work out. I've stopped training with them. In fact, they're sitting at my house collecting dust. Yeah, um, if you're just gonna walk around the house like I do, or in the morning when I wake up and go to the coffee shop, I actually take these out. I like them for just listening to music. Um, I don't have an issue with them just walking around. But any, like I said, any vigorous movement or any, um, any kind of, it, like, um, any decent activity where they, you're gonna be moving yeah. around, they either fall out or cut out, and you can't take a phone call. Okay, on. so the final question then, um, if you lost these and you had to repurchase a new pair of headphones, would you buy the Jaybird Blue Bud X Bluetooth headphones? At $170, it's a bit rich to be asking um, somebody like myself or anyone for that matter to be paying that price point and having the issues with the mobile phone, um, uh, taking mobile phone calls on them, being muffled, uh, having having them cut out, and them not really being a secure fit like they're supposed to be. So on those three bases, the answer is no. And saying that, he said, if you're just walking around, they're a decent headphone, which I actually like. So you continue to use? Continue to use, but not when I'm going to the box. Fair enough. Well, if you'd like to check out our unboxing of these bad boys, you can see that on the link below. For now though, it's time to go. Check out more reviews at therxview.com. Thank you.